Praise the Lord, saints. You are listening to the Open Door Radio Broadcast with your host, Pastor Roberto V. Roche Sr. of the Open Door Missionary Baptist Church located at 4817 West 3rd Street in the city of Dayton, Ohio, inside of the Progressive Baptist Church building. Our weekly services begin with our hour power at 11.30 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. And worship services begin at 1 p.m. So sit back. Relax and enjoy the spiritual ride. This is Open Door Radio. Day, 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 day. Good morning, good morning, good morning. All my father's children, may the Lord keep blessing you because he is good. Let's listen to this song by James Fortune. I'll trust you. One of the most difficult things to do is find yourself in a storm and while in that storm it seems like everyone who you thought you could count on has, has walked away and sometimes it seems like even God himself has forgotten about you but in spite of that to still be able to lift your hands and say Lord I trust you I surrender to you So many painful thoughts Trouble through my mind And I wonder how I will make it through this time But I'll trust It's not easy Lord, it's not easy Sometimes the pain in my life Makes you seem so far away can make it. Through the tears and the pain. Thank you, Jesus. Oh God, I trust you. Sometimes it's so hard because everything that I see tells me not to believe. happened to me 10 years ago I can only trust you no one loves like you but it's the thoughts in my mind I wonder how I will make it I will make it through oh God but I trust you Sometimes the pain in my life, oh God, it makes you seem so far away. Can I get a witness, somebody? But God, I trust you. Through the tears, through the heartache and rain. Anybody ever had to cry late in the midnight hour? Every tear you've had to cry, through the heartache and rain. Come on, take it up through the tears. Oh, that's right, through the heartache. Listen, somebody's going through something right now, and the devil's trying to convince you that there's no way you can make it out, and he says you're not going to be able to get out of this situation, but I wish somebody would make the devil out of a lie right now and lift your hands and say, God, I will trust you. I don't know how you're going to do it. I don't know when you're going to show up, but God, I know you're going to do it. God, I know you're going to bring me out. Come on, if that's you, come on, lift your voice and say, I will. Oh, that's right. I'll trust you. Hallelujah. Oh, God, I don't know when the pains go in, but I know, God, you wouldn't put more on me than I can bear. So I trust you in spite of what I see, in spite of what I'm going through. I trust you. God, you never left me. I know you love me. That's why I trust you. Come on, why you take it up? I had my heart broken. I made some mistakes. God, you still kept me. Oh, God, you're faithful. You see what I'm going through. You know my pain. I trust you. It's not easy for me, but I trust you. I know you're here with me. I'm not by myself. As long as I got you, Jesus, I can make it. 
like it. I trust you. Yeah. Come on, by your side. I trust you. Oh, God, I just lost my job, but I got more bills than money, but oh, God, I will. The doctor said there's nothing else he can do, but oh, God, my back's up against the wall. But, oh, that's right. I trust you. trust the Lord today, saints. Let us start to trust in the Lord. Amen. This is Open Door Radio. Data. If you are looking for a reliable home health care agency and a reliable non-emergency transportation company, the Forever Ready Home Health Care and Transportation Company is at your service. If you are an STNA, CNA or HHA and are looking for more hours, full-time benefits and more, Forever Ready is the place you want to be. Call today, 937-999-6130 or apply online, the number 4, Ever Ready, HHC.com. We are Forever Ready. You are listening to Open Door Radio Dayton with your host, Pastor Roberto V. Roche Sr. Amen. Reading is very <clears throat> important. We learn to read in second grade or before. You see, we have to keep reading. Everyone cannot be a rocket science or a great philosopher. Amen. But it's very important to everyone here that we learn how to read. But everyone can read if you can't read a whole lot of different things or but everyone should be able to read the Bible to get an understanding of God's word. But if you refuse to, you will be ignorant to the word of God. Amen. You know, in school, they they tell you how important it is to read and write. Amen. So it's very important to understand where God wants you to go, where God needs you to be, amen, and where God would like you to go, amen? But you can, you don't know where to go, not unless you read the Word of God. Are you with me today? Amen. When you look at this, if, if you desire to obey the law of the Lord, you have to read. If not, you will not know the law of the Lord. Amen. When you look back, over at 128 numbers of Psalms, amen, it says, Therefore, I esteem all my precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. Amen. So it's telling you that uh, everything should be right. Amen. Everything that you do should be going right. Anything that's false. Amen. Anything that's not according to God, you're going in the wrong direction. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Anything that is against God, you are going in the wrong direction. So it's telling you there that if the Bible says you need to run from evil and draw closer to those that are good, then you need to do that. Amen. Not go the other way. Amen. So he's saying you need to flee from evil, but you need to draw closer to good. And so when you see that, when God is telling you this, amen, we have to understand that God is trying to help you to get through this everyday life. So if I'm going to keep running to those things that are wrong, then I'm going to keep getting messed up. Amen. I'm going to keep falling in this pit. Or I'm going to just keep going in a circle that I can't get out of. Amen. But if I start to draw closer to those things that are good, then God said, now you're going in the right direction. Yeah. Now you can keep taking those steps that you need to take yeah. because you're going in the right direction. Glory Amen. God. And so when you start to see those things working together for you and God, amen, when, when God is showing you the direction that you need to go, you need to 
uh, adhere to it and go in that direction. Amen. Amen. You need to go in that direction. If you do not understand everything in the Bible right now, that's okay. Keep reading. So, see, we have to understand. You might not know everything that's in the Bible right now. It's okay. Keep reading. Keep reading. And the reason why he wants you to keep reading, listen to this. Keep reading because if you keep coming, keep praying, and understand that God is going to let you draw closer to him. As long as you keep reading, you're going to start drawing closer to who? Jesus. Amen? Yeah. you got to keep coming. you got to keep coming to church. you got to keep praying. Take from the word... What you know, amen? So that means whatever you can understand, take from that. Yes. Are you with me today? Take from that. Take from the word you do know and just keep reading. So if you don't understand all of it, take parts and bits of what you do know and keep reading. Because God eventually, and eventually the light's going to come on, amen? The light's going to come on in your mind as long as you keep reading. And you're going to say, mm, I got it. Amen. God. Amen. I know why the Lord say keep coming to church. I know why the Lord say I don't need to keep smoking. I know why the Lord say don't be a whoremonger. Amen. Then you start to see things that God is always telling us. Yeah. Gradually, the Bible will unfold itself to you. Amen. It will switch a light on in your head. If you look back again at 130th numbers of Psalm, it says the interest of thy words giveth light. It giveth understanding unto the simple. So that means once the word come on, once the light come on in your, in your mind, and you start to understand what God is telling you. Then you start to know why God said you might, you have to pay 10% of your tithe. Amen. You start to understand these things. Why? Because God said the, eventually the Bible will start unfolding itself to you. The more you read, the more you get in the word, the more you meditate on it, the more you try to understand what God is telling you, God will reveal or give you a revelation of his word and then you'll say wow I got it yes, yes. that's the wonderful thing about the word that's the wonderful thing that's why I tell people all the time come to our power come to Bible study why because that's the only way you're going to learn see right now we're doing the uh, uh, preaching part and so the preaching part is a little faster than what the our power would be amen you can ask questions and things like that in our power but when the sermon is going on it's a lot faster it's a lot more talking it's a lot more scriptures coming at you at one time and so you can't really ask questions amen but when you come to bible class when you come to our power when you come to sunday school and you have to you need to know something about the word then you can ask questions I hope you will be saying I, I just because God's word is, is 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 always touching us in different ways, amen. And so we have to look at this. When you look at 131 stanza, amen, it says, I opened my mouth and panted, panted, for I longed for thy commandments. Amen. So what that pant? What do pant mean? Pant means eager. Amen. Pant means eager. Eager means very excited and interested. Feeling a strong and impatient desire to do something or for something. So the, what the spirit, what he's saying in there is that he was couldn't wait to get to the word. Yeah. Amen. I panicked. I, I, when I got to the Bible, I was losing my breath. I couldn't wait to open up the Bible. So he was very excited to get to the word. He was eager. He's very excited and interested. But why? Because you want to know everything you can about who? God. And so when you get to the work, the Bible, you when you when your Bible stay closed too long, you should get upset. Y'all ain't hearing me today. When your Bible sits on your dresser too long, you should get upset. You should be like, I haven't read today. I haven't read today. I haven't meditated on God's word. Let me open up the Bible. You should get excited about the Bible. Why? Because the Bible is your blueprint. The Bible is your instruction in life. And so when you understand what the Bible is for Christians, you should get excited about the Bible. The light will switch on. The light will switch on. You'll say, oh, I got this. I don't have to worry about nothing. Now. I know what God means when he said, I'll provide. I'll protect. And so when you start to see these things, then you start to say, God, thank you for what you showed me. Yes, Lord. When you look at 2 Timothy 2 and 15, it says, study to show thyself approved unto God. Yes. A workman yes. that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Yes. So, saints, we should not be ashamed of the gospel. Amen. 
And then you should want to read because it says in that in that scripture, study to show thyself approved unto God. Not unto me, not unto uh, Lady Roche, not unto John, amen, not unto Shirley. You need to study to show thyself approved unto God. Amen. I'm studying God because I love you. I'm studying God because I'm grateful. I'm studying God because I'm here. I might have to go to the doctor every now and then, but I'm here. That's why you study. God, I might be in the waiting room, but I'm still studying. Why? Because I got my Bible, and there's a Bible on my phone, and I'm still studying. So when you look at that, when you know better, this is you should start. Open Door Radio. Data. If you are looking for a reliable home health care agency and a reliable non-emergency transportation company, the Forever Ready Home Health Care and Transportation Company is at your service. If you are STNA, CNA, or HHA and are looking for more hours, full-time benefits, and more, Forever Ready is the place you want to be. Call today, 937-999-6130 or fly online, the number 4, Ever Ready, HHC.com. We are Forever Ready. You are listening to Open Door Radio Dayton with your host, Pastor Roberto V. Roche Sr. Doing the right thing. Stop trying to do things on your own and let's start doing what God wants us to do. Amen. Amen. And when you look at this, let's go back to 132 stanza. It said, look thou upon me and be merciful unto me as thou uses to do unto those that love thy name. And so what it's telling you there is give, show me mercy, Lord. I, I, I'm struggling. And, and, and I know you can show me mercy, Lord, because you show mercy to those that don't know you. Amen. And those that don't love you. God blesses people that don't even know him. God bless the dope man. God bless the rapist. God bless the murderer. Amen. And so if he blessing all of them, why won't he, why would, why, why excuse me, why will he not bless you? Amen. And you are a follower of him. Amen. He wake them up every day. So he wake me up every day. So God is wonderful. God is great. But when you start to keep moving from God, when you start to tell God, well, I don't care about your word. I'm going to read it when I want to read it. Uh, uh, I'm going to go do this instead of reading your word. I'm going to go watch TV instead of your word. I'm going to do this. I'm going to deal with my children and keep putting God on the back burner. Eventually, he's going to say, mm-mm. I'm going to leave you where you at. And Satan going to take over there. See, that's what Satan waits. Satan waiting for God to turn his back. And then Satan going to sneak right in. He going to say, oh, this one, this one mine. And Satan don't care about. See, what we got to understand, saints. Saints, Satan do not care about those that's already in the world. That's right. He wants you. Amen. Those that's sitting in here today. That's who Satan waiting to get. He don't care about those that's out there killing people and doing it because he already got them. Those that's not in church, those that's doing what they want to do, Satan ain't worried about them. He, I got them. I want the ones that's trying to say, I want to follow Christ so he can make Jesus mad. Amen. He want to come in here and mess this place up. Why? Because he said, I want you because you say you believe in Jesus and I'm going to turn you away from him. So every time you don't come to church, let me hit you with this thing. Every time you don't come to church, Satan laughing. I got another one, Lord. Yes. They ain't at church. I got another one. They don't love you because if they loved you, I'll be there. That's what we got to understand. Why would I want to make Satan happy? I want to make Satan mad every day. Yes. Every time I can, I'm going to pray to God. I'm going to worship God. And on Sundays, I'm going to be rolling to church because I want Satan upset. He can't get me. He can't get me. I'm not going to do. And if whatever else I got at home that got to do, I can do it when I get out of church, saints. Yes. yes. Bump that stuff. That stuff can't save you. Whatever it is out there, my job can't save me. The check that they give me can't save me. When I die, I want to be guaranteed that I'm going to heaven. Amen. Come on, my check, I can't come up there with my check and say, well, Lord, I, I had to make this extra money on Sunday. He's going to be like, I don't, that ain't nothing. For, I, your money can't do nothing for him. I'm going to go to church I can't work on Sundays I'm sorry Find somebody else I came in the door Interview time I can't do Sundays And I can't do weekends If you need me good If you don't I appreciate you calling me in Because I believe that God If you don't get that job God will help you get what? Another job 
We got to stand for something or we're going to fall for everything. Yeah. Yeah. Let's look over there at 133rd numbers of Psalms. Order my steps in thy word and let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Order my steps. God, show me which way to go. God, guide me in the direction that I need to go. Say, sometimes we just walk a blind because we don't even ask God to help us. We just go out and do because we say we want to do it. And we got to understand, sometimes you got to step back and say, Lord, should I be going in this direction? Lord, should I go here today? And if God tell you no, then don't go. Make another appointment. Amen. Because if you go, you might run into something that you don't want to run into. That's right. Y'all ain't with me today. But a lot of times we just get up, put our clothes on, and we out the door. But we can plan on Friday that we're not going to church on Sunday. Y'all ain't even hearing me today. But when you get up in the morning any other day of the week, you busting up the streets down. You're getting on the bus. You're doing whatever you want to do. But when it's time to come to church on Sunday, they can't find you. They can't find you. Why? Because you came up with a plan. Mm. And God is saying, wait a minute. I, I, I helped you all week and you can't come and serve me for two hours. You can't serve me for three hours. You can't serve me for four hours. But you can go out in the streets and hang out six or seven hours, eight hours, come in at two o'clock in the morning. But when I have a couple of hours to say, come worship me, come praise me, lift my name, I can't find you. And I, I'm not even trying to hold you long. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. I don't want you long. I just say, give me my praise the two to three hours that my church is open and just lift me up. Praise me for what I've done for you all week. Yes, God. That's all I ask. Well, we can't even give God that. Have mercy. 134th stanza. Deliver me from the oppression of man. So will I keep thy precepts. Deliver me from the oppression of, of man. My evil thoughts. Those other men that's got evil thoughts. And, and, and want me to do wrong. I always want to tell you to let's go here. Let's go there. Let's do this. Let's do that. They always got a plan for you. But it's not the right plan. You ain't going to never hear those that's in the street say let's go to your church. Oh, come on, church. But they want to go to the bar. Y'all ain't hearing me today. They're not going to never say, well, <clears throat> let's, let's go to your church so uh, uh, I can be saved. Uh -huh. They ain't going to tell you that. But they're going to tell you, go to my, go my friend's house with me. Uh-oh, y'all ain't hearing me today. See, we got to understand, these people, don't, they don't care about your lifestyle. They want to see, are, are you really following Christ? Yes. Are you with me today? They want to see that. They want to see if you're really following Christ or are you just being a hypocrite? That's what Jesus told the Pharisees. He said, he said, you hypocrite. You walk around with all these pretty robes, big pretty hats, jewels all over them, and you hypocrite. You don't know who I am. You don't know my father. Yes. And so sometimes Jesus are looking, is looking at us and saying, stop being a hypocrite. If you're not going to go to church, stop playing and stop trying to act like you're a Christian. Mm -hmm. Christianity is not a game. This is a relationship. Do you know Jesus today? Or are you playing like you know him? Amen? Stop playing house with God. God ain't got time to play house with you. That was what we used to do when we was young people. Y'all ain't hearing me today. We want to play house. Amen. How I go see? How I go get? Y'all didn't hear that. Y'all want to do all this crazy stuff, but you don't know who God is. Amen? Thank you, Lord. We got to understand that God is looking for some people that's going to stop Plan with him and do the right things. Y'all didn't hear that. Amen? Amen. And we have to understand that God is looking for you to do the right thing, saints. And so when you see this thing, when you see these things going on, and say, I will keep, I, I will I keep thy precepts. That means to follow what God has already done. I want to follow you, Lord. I want to do what you did. I want to be the person like you, Lord. And I, I, I know I'm not perfect. Amen. I know I might fall by the wayside. I might get slipped up. I might fall sometime. But, Lord, I want to follow you. Because I know that if I follow you, everything's going to be all right. Yeah. Are you with me, saints? We got to understand that God is looking for us to do the right thing. So when I look at this, there is power in the word. Amen. All you have to do is to is receive the full benefits of learning and the spirit will assist you on this great journey. Yeah. 
Take on all the, the, the love of God. Take on all the things that you need of God and understand that as long as God is with you, then God's going to lead you in that right direction. Amen. Then God is going to guide you in that right direction. But if you keep trying to do what you want to do, God can't do nothing for you because you trying to do it all by yourself. You got that me, myself and I attitude. Amen. And God is saying, well, you go ahead about yourself because I can't help you. When you look at Matthew 4 and 4, and I'm getting ready to close, Matthew 4 and 4, but he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. We can't live on food alone, saints. We can't live on water alone. God said you need the word of God to live. Amen. You also got to have the word. My natural body is fed, but I also need my spirit man fed. Are you with me today? See, we got to understand that this is spiritual plus natural. Amen. So I can always get my spirit man. This is Open Door Radio, Dayton. If you are looking for a reliable home health care agency and a reliable non-emergency transportation company, the Forever Ready Home Health Care and Transportation Company is at your service. If you are a STNA, CNA, or HHA and are looking for more hours, full-time benefits, and more, Forever Ready is the place you want to be. Call today, 937-999-6130 or apply online, the number four, Ever ready, hhc.com. We are forever ready. You are listening to Open Door Radio Dayton with your host, Pastor Roberto V. Roche Sr. You have been listening to the Open Door Radio Dayton with your host, Pastor Roberto V. Roche Sr the pastor of Open Door Missionary Baptist Church, located at 4817 West 3rd Street, Dayton, Ohio, inside the Progressive Baptist Church building. Our weekly hour power begins at 1130 a.m., and our worship experience starts at 1 p.m. We would like to thank our sponsors today, the Forever Ready Transportation and Home Health Care Agency. This broadcast was produced by Open Door Media Relations and a Hood Style Way of Life. God bless.